Slavery is a worldwide problem that humans have been trying to eliminate for hundreds of years, but it still exists today. In fact, there's believed to be some form of slavery in every country in the world. Nigeria being no exception, having 1.4 million people trapped in slavery. However, Nigeria was recently upgraded to the Tier 2 of the U.S. Department Tier Ranking, meaning that the government has been trying to eradicate slavery, but hasn't yet met the minimum requirements in doing so. The most common forms of modern slavery present in Nigeria today are sex trafficking, child labor, domestic labor, and forced marriage. Sex trafficking being the crime where women, men, or children are forcefully involved in commercial sex acts. Victims are lured into slavery with promises of fake jobs and are then trapped in sex slavery with no escape. There have been Nigerian victims of sex slavery identified in 34 different countries around the world. On the other hand, child labor in Nigeria exists in the forms of sexual exploitation and forced labor. A report published in 2019 estimated that at least 43% of Nigerian children are trapped in some form of forced labor. For example, Places called baby factories are very common in Nigeria. They're camouflaged as orphanages or maternity homes. Women there are held against their will, raped and forced to carry and deliver babies who are later sold or used for labor. Children are also used as domestic servants. A report showed that 80% of house servants in Nigeria are actually children. These children work up to 18 hours a day are poorly dressed, kept in repulsive conditions, and forced to perform daily tasks like cleaning, child care, and cooking. Forced marriage is also seen very frequently in Nigeria. Young girls are sold into marriage with older men without their consent in exchange for food or to repay debts. In northern Nigeria, about 43% of girls are married before their 18th birthday, and are then neglected and abused by their husbands, but are unable to escape. These issues of modern slavery are kept alive in today's society, poverty being the foundation of human trafficking. Half of the Nigerian population is living in extreme poverty. That is 87 million people earning less than $1.90 a day. That leaves many vulnerable to trafficking and seeking better job opportunities. In addition, Conflict also plays a key role in leading people into slavery. The seven-year conflict with terrorist groups like Boko Haram has killed over 20,000 people and displaced 2.6 million Nigerians. It has enslaved many in the form of sex slaves, child labor, and suicide bombers. This conflict has also led many to flee their homes and end up in internally displaced persons camps where more exploitation takes place. The lack of law enforcement and corrupt government officials who are taking part in the daily trafficking of Nigerians make law enforcement a lot more difficult. Lastly, climate change is such a driving factor for slavery. The inconsistent rainfall creates challenges for those who depend on growing their own crops to survive. Putting them in a tough spot where they search for more sustainable jobs, pushing them into the hands of traffickers. Although Nigeria does have a lack of improvement in their law enforcement to prevent modern slavery, they have tightened laws of prosecution against traffickers. The government also created an agency called the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons that focuses on fighting trafficking in Nigeria. They enforce laws on trafficking, prosecute cases, spread awareness, and most importantly, provide services for victims of human trafficking. Dara was living in a small village in Nigeria when she met a woman who offered her a job as a domestic worker in Libya. However, when she arrived, they locked her in a room for four days without food and threatened to kill her. She was told to have sex with multiple clients a day, but when she managed to free herself, she was abducted by the terrorist group called ISIS. She was placed in an underground prison where she was constantly raped, and after three years, Libyan soldiers helped her escape and she returned to Nigeria. She's now living in a shelter, but is one of many going through depression and feelings of self-harm due to slavery. The 
The Devotop Center for Africa Development is a non-profit organization that advocates for change in Nigeria. They fight against human trafficking and gender-based violence. They also provide educational support to vulnerable children and have impacted over 200,000 people through training, support, donations, and through the media. Similarly, the Women's Consortium of Nigeria is a non-government, non-profit organization that is committed to protecting the rights of children and women. They provide homes for girls that were victims of slavery and help them rebuild their lives in Nigeria. But how do we as individuals make a difference in the larger problem that is human trafficking? There are numerous organizations around the world that are committed to fighting slavery and make a change in people's lives. With the better research, you can find reliable organizations to which you can donate to. We can also be conscious consumers and watch out where we buy our products from, as many come from major corporations that use forced or child labor. By paying more attention to where our money goes to, we can really create an impact. Lastly, we should all be aware of our local trafficking hotlines, as it is crucial if you're aware of any victims of slavery or you suspect of any, that you report it immediately. Only when we all take our time and put effort into fighting slavery is when we will see a real change and be able to prevent events like this from ever happening again.